Hi there, I'm Katie and welcome to the show. Today we're joined by Lou Collins, who's going to show us some fantabulous scrapbooking techniques using the Rolled Dial Collection. Hi Lou, welcome along. Hi Katie. So you've got a scrapbook page to show us today, haven't you? Yes, with a bit of a twist, because there's a bit of... A uh, booklet on there to go with the whole Wonderful. book roll dial theme. Book theme, brilliant. There's lots going on here, yeah. and you're going to be showing some of the bits from the ultimate die cut and paper pack as well, mm, which I think favorite. is my favourite, your favourite. So, yeah, let's get started. What's first? Well, first, we've taken some of the papers. You get these in obviously the die cut yep. and paper pack. Yep. I'm using this one as a background because I've got a white sheet of paper. I'm using a white background. So okay. Two in your face. Now this is all your wonderful words, isn't it, from, from the Roald Dahl? So all the fabulous language, or fantabulous language, fantabulous, I should say. Fantabulous, yes. I mean, it's got some of the titles there as well. Yeah. So I'm going to just ink the edges of this with brown and some stamp pad here. Lovely. There we go. So I've used my 12 by 12 sheet of paper there that's the um, textured card stock. Good. I'll go around the edges of this with my glue runner. These glue runners are fantastic because you get them in permanent and non-permanent. Yeah. And they're just brilliant for quick crafting. That's what you want, isn't it? Definitely. Now, I don't think there's a right or wrong way with this sheet. So I'm just going to pop it down. Being A4, it doesn't quite reach the edges. You're going to have a slight border on there. That's fine. There Very nice. Go. The next step is to do a couple of borders on the top and bottom of these. Okay. But I don't want to do them straight. I want to be in keeping with the the child fun theme, okay. and I'm going to lay them on a little bit on the wonk. Good, good. I'm sure Roald Dahl have a proper word it's for that. term. Yeah, <laughs> on the wonk. So two thin strips of this yellow golden ticket paper. So I'm going to use my tape runner again. And these are going to go on slightly on the skew. That's nice. One, two, that just gives that a nice fun edge to your backing love paper. Love it. Good stuff. So the next layer, this lovely book paper. Oh, I love cute, this. It's isn't it? So it's like an actual part of the story yeah. from Charlie, isn't it? You can actually read, I have read it, and you can, it's, yeah, it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, obviously, and it's got here Mr. Willy Wonka, and it goes on, you can actually read the whole thing. It's good, isn't it? Brilliant. Really I did like get a bit that. carried away when I was designing <laughs> this page. So I'm going to fold it in half. And the reason I'm not just cutting it isn't in half is because I want these layers to show. Oh, uh, yeah. So again, I'll just brush a little bit of ink. Obviously, it's slightly yellow anyway. I want to add the brown. Very nice. And I'm going to do it on the inside, this section that will show. Oh, I see. More on the corner than anything. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to glue this together, but not this corner. Okay. Because I want this corner to be able to... Oh, I see. So you've got the... This one isn't... We'll have a uh, sticker down the bottom. Of there. So I'm going to glue this down. Again, I'm not going to glue it straight. Okay. I'm going to be... Beautiful. Right, so that's our base sorted for the moment. Okay. The next bit is to sort out where we're going to put our photos. Okay. And like, so let's see, I've made a little booklet. Now I've made this using the cards and envelopes pack. Ah, oh, these are great, aren't they? There's loads of really these good designs brilliant. in here. So. Now I've taken two and a sheet of A5 pattern paper. Okay. And I'll show you. The, this is the back page, so you fold it inside out. Okay. The next one's also folded inside out. We're going to join these like this. I see, yeah. So I'll just glue these together. So butt them up and take the time to make sure these are really level with each other. Right, so there we go. You've got a couple of pages with the colour on them. Lovely. Now if you fold it closed, you've obviously got white. Okay. Boring white. You don't want that. No, so I've got a piece of A5 pattern paper to act as a cover. Ah, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is the front I'm going to glue first because the back will be sealed onto the scrapbook page. Okay. So I want to make sure that as it stretches round we don't lose any of the Oh, I see. So it's perfect on the bit we're going to see. Yeah. So there we 
we go. Ah, oh, that's good. You can see you've got a slight edge here. Yeah. We wanted that on the back, not on the yep. front. So there's our book. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. For our photos. So we'll position this now. Pop that in the centre of the page there. Lovely. Now, you could pop your photo straight onto here, but I wanted a bit more decoration, so I've chosen some of these lovely journaling cards. And there's loads, isn't there, in here? Shall we? So, many. so you've got a few there. I've got five designs here. There's, a, there's two of each, I think. Two or three of each, maybe. And the other ones, you've got the, the classic sort of golden ticket shape yeah. there as well. And you make me want to sing. I've got a golden ticket. The BFG, <laughs> maybe later. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these on the, the white one I'm putting on the front because it matches lovely with the back yeah. of the paper so that's going to be our first one and these are um, journaling cards technically speaking aren't they, they? but are they don't this. have to be for journaling at all do they oh, make no, like you've no. done here with your photos they make it just a really good like layer don't yeah, they yeah you could do you could do so much with them I mean, you, you could trim out some of the pictures and the wording as yeah. well so I'm going to just pop these in and what I've got is I've got a lined one on the very back page for my journaling okay so what I've, I've done here is I've popped photos, so I've got four photos, and then I've written my journaling on there, which you'll oh, see. Oh, I see, okay, so your photos just popped yeah. in. On those ones, and then I've written a bit about okay. her reading on the back. I mean, of course, you can add more, more photos. You could even add more pages oh, by doing yeah, the same course. thing. So now taking from the die cut pack, to the ultimate pack, there's so much in this packet. But I've pulled out some of the book covers, now, oh, when yeah, you fold brown. them, they do have the name of the book on the spine, but when you fold them, because you don't see them. So what I've done is when I've constructed them, I've actually stamped the names uh, onto them. Okay. So I've got two book covers and one plain book page. I see. To act as a book cover. And these ones will fill, these plain pages will fill the books. I've got, yeah. So I'll pull them right to the edge so you can see them. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here. That'll hold the book shut, but you can still lift up. Again, you can lift up those pages. Ah, oh, that's have brilliant. Them slightly dimensional. There, so we've got three book covers. So now it's time to stamp. What fantastic Mr. Fox. <laughs> and black ink. I'm going to stamp title in here because like I say you can't see it on the spine now there we go very nice book. and of course because you've got the clear stamp you can see exactly where yeah. you're stamping can't you so you can position it right in the middle there yeah. beautiful so three books now again glue runner start layering these up so I'm going to put that one on top of that one and then I think this one's going to be like that. Lay them up together. Lovely. Make sure they've all got some glue on. And I have a tuck them in just I'll lay them in there. There look a big pile of books. Very nice. Now our title's going to come this side. So to finish off this side we're going to use one of the decoupage images. Now, and these is, are in the ultimate pack again, aren't they? They are, yeah. And I mean, the detail on that is brilliant and because it's all the... It's tiny, isn't it? I don't know if you're better <laughs> pick it up. We'll obviously take lots of lovely close-up photos of Lou's project and pop those on docraft.com so you can have a look there. But yeah, you've got, uh, got Willy Wonga and Charlie and... Golden Ticket. Golden Ticket <laughs> and you've got the Loompa Loompa there and oh yeah, I love and it. Grandpa. I have Grandpa in there. Um, I'm going to use foam pads just to bring it up above this book okay. where it's slightly raised. Pop him on there. There we go, and that holds the frame in place as well. Lovely. So we can add a ribbon clip. So how do we put these together? Uh -huh. Now, how I do it, so I just pop, loop, double it over, pop it through, then I put my, you probably can't see this very easily with my fingers fumbling around. Just popping the two ends through the loop there. There. Oh, and yeah. Pull it tight. And then we're going to attach this on here. That okay, and then we just need to really add our title. Okay. So I've chosen, we've got some stamping bits to do as well, but 
I've chosen Hello Hello as a subtitle. Okay. So I'm going to pop this on here and then my main title, which is Bookworm, because my daughter really is a bookworm, from these stickers. But what I'll do is I'll start with the last letter, oh, the spacing, yeah. so I don't want to overlap the book. Now these, again, just like the wording, these are perfectly um, detailed. Here we've They're got really Willy Wonka. intricate, aren't they? They are brilliant. But Willy Wonka, and just for a bit of fun, I want to have him poking out the top here. <laughs> so I'm just going to ink the top half of him. Okay. Now I'm going to take a piece of our paper that we were using before. Okay. So it's now scrap paper, I will use it again. So I don't stamp on my mat. There he is. There we go. <laughs> and there he is coming out of the top. Oh, it's lovely. Okay, so I'm going to add these little die cuts. I mean, there's the World of Roald Dahl. You've got to have that on there somewhere. Has to go on there, yeah. And we've got some postage stamps. But for me today, the last bit is just some gems. I'm going to pop on my book plate here to look like it's being held on. There you go. So then you've got your... Book that opens, ready for your photos. Fantastic, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for showing us that You're scrapbook welcome. project. It's really good to see how to get the most out of your, your Roald Dahl products. It's perfect for cards and scrapbooks yeah. and home decor. It's wonderful for all sorts of things. Um, if you've enjoyed today's projects and you've been crafting too, why not pop along to docrafts.com and upload some of your projects so Lou and I can pop along and leave you some <laughs> comments as well. Um, we'd also like to have your comments, so why not leave a comment on this video. Um, maybe let us know what sort of things you'd like to see on an upcoming episode, maybe a technique or a sort of project you've been wanting to try. Um, I was, as I said earlier, you can find all of the details of Lou's project online as well in case you missed anything. Until next time, happy crafting.